goes with his instincts is going to be a Trump that ultimately leads a very successful country in second term. You know, Martha, uh, Joe Biden mentioned the word unity more in his inaugural address than any president, I think, except one. If he's serious about that, he'll pardon Donald Trump. He'll also pardon his son. And then he'll put pressure on Georgia and New York to end this lawfare. If there is any silver lining tonight, it is that lawfare actually helps the person that you are trying to go after. We need a justice system. The, the lady needs to wear a blindfold for a reason. We got to stop this prosecution of our political I mean, literally, his he whole thing will be the attorney general. Absolutely. We need a really solid attorney general. John Radcliffe. Can do it. Sorry, John. No, John. <laughs> I apologize. Sorry. There will Mike be a Johnson. lot of a lot of talk about uh, cabinet members, uh, Treasury Secretary, Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense. Uh, you've got Tom Cotton, Mike Pompeo. You have. Well, you also have a Republican bench, and sometimes like you were saying that the, the Democratic Party is quite old right now. There's not a great bench, although there are some, and especially. But when you take governors out of states, then you leave a hole and then they have to build up that bench back up. But the Republican bench is pretty strong right now. There you see uh, Doug Burgum and uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, Steve Wynn, his lovely wife, Andrea. Uh, so people are, are there waiting for the former president. Britt would like to know where he is. He's watching us. Uh, can we, say, can we say tonight, though, uh, Harold, that, that the melting pot still works? that Hispanics, black Americans, working class Americans, you know, standing up, asking what their government is gonna do, asking their government to see them and their concerns, that it works, that 